Yeah, I would love to see it. Do tag me in your work because I've got I get so many notifications. It's hard. It's hard to um, see a thing, but tagging, I can um, see quite a bit of. So okay, I'm just putting some blue on here. So there's no liquid clear. This is just straight onto the prime canvas. This is an experiment. I have no real plan of what I'm doing. I'm gonna, so I've got blue there. I'm gonna get some crimson and just go mad with it and see what happens. This could, this could go terribly wrong. This might be one for the bin yet. So this is crimson. Let's bring that crimson down even further. And we'll do a strip of blue at the bottom. Although it's gonna turn like, it's gonna turn all different kinds of colors actually thinking about this. It'll be somewhere between the two. Oh, I've gone into a slightly different blue at the bottom. It's a bit brighter. That's okay. Let's leave a bit of black down there for like a silhouette. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'll try and read some of the comments here. For, uh, Lottie's favorite color is purple and green. I'm good score, nice to have you here. Let's go mad on the likes and the shares if we can, guys. Just share, copy the link. Okay. So I know I've got a lot of blue in this brush. Uh, I'm just trying to think whether to add a little bit of yellow. This is an experiment, so why not? Shall we? Shall we? What does yellow and crimson make? Yellow and... Yellow and um, what does yellow and crimson make? I don't want it to go brown. That would make brown, wouldn't it? Yellow and red. Oh yeah, okay. Let me just try a little bit on the palette. Because there is blue on there as well, so it's gonna be mixing with blue. So I'm just gonna try a little bit on the palette. With my finger. Oh yeah, it is kind of, yeah. See, that's what I'm thinking. Do you know what? I'm just gonna try it. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. I'm just gonna try it. You don't know until you try it, so I'm experimenting live. <laughs> so yeah, the blue's gonna mix in with it. This is what I'm a little concerned about. Because I've got blue on there. I'm just gonna do a streak of yellow and just see what happens. It's not gonna look like this, I don't think. Just a guess. All right, let's do some blending. I don't know what this is gonna be like, guys. Most of that yellow is gonna go. I want this to mix up here so it's like lavendery in like a lavendery band see what i mean these are literally um transparent colors on a on a canvas see that's gone now but it's there but when you add the white it might do something so let's add a little bit more on what did i use to put that on oh yeah this brush try it yes exactly we'll just try and stuff we're just trying stuff out. We don't care, we don't care. We just do it. Let's just put a bit more on. I know I'm gonna lose quite a lot of it, but it might change with the white. Like I said, I've got the dirty brush of the blue here. Who knows? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Let's just leave that there and see what happens. Okay. So I'm just gonna add some white on. You can see that though. I'm just gonna add some white on. Let's have a, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I think it's gonna go like a gray color. If it does, then that's not really what I'm looking for, but. I'm just putting it on. I've got no liquid clear on here, so blending's gonna be different. <laughs> oh, this is madness. Anything goes. Let's just see what happens, guys. Let's just do it. Let's just go, if I can pull that up. It's going that kind of gray you color. The crimson, it's amazing. The crimson's really there, but you can't really see it. 
let's just make some, let's just do it. Well, that's a nice bit of abstract art. Eh? Who knows what's going on here? It's interesting, isn't it, actually? gone really white there. I thought that would go a lot more sort of crimsony sort of colour there. I really did. But the, it's making its own mind up what kind of painting this wants to be. We've got some green there. I mean, what's that going to be? The top of the sea. Um, I'm just blending and blending, guys. Going mad. Really blending. I think it'll look quite nice though. Got to, got to figure out some land, the lay of the land. There's a big bit here that I want to keep blending. Blend, 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 blend. All right, now what? Oh my God, I'm already in love with this one. Really? Great, thank you. <laughs> just want to get this bit I've got I've got a bit of um, light shine in this, this area and I'll, it's very hard for me to see flipping it the mind boggles it's amazing isn't it, what you can do with some oil paint a winter sea some crashing waves in the green sea crashing waves is something I need to do that's on my list of learning but we can see let's just see let's just figure out see now because you've got a green a green bit there. I think I'm gonna do a couple of palm trees in front, right? We'll do a silhouette, maybe a bit of land that goes around there into the distance. Um, I think I can see a picture in it of what I wanna do. Um, I'm just hoping that I'll be able to do these palm trees as well. Uh, Jerry, thank you for the number one, your number one gifter, thank you. Um, 20,000, well done guys, 20,000. Okay, I think I'm just gonna throw some land on and, and I mean, you. this is like, this is almost like a blank, blank canvas of what you could do. But I think I can see a sort of picture. Uh, that's gotta be the horizon line up there. So we could have a bit of a land across here. We don't need to do all of it. And we can have that coming around. Here. Almost like a circle coming close to the shore. So, everyone sees so, something different in, in something like this. So, you know, I'm doing what I feel when you're doing that kind of thing. You may, maybe there's a distant little hill or something over there, right in the distance. That's somewhere else over there. We don't know where that is. <laughs> we can do some little hills and that just goes off into nothing. Put some different, um, I want to get this a bit blacker here if I can. In some places, we'll put some little highlights on there in a minute. Just sort that bit out. Um, let's read some comments. This could be an underwater painting. Oh, it could have been, yes. Pixie Rose, nice to see you. That's why I love art. No one sees one painting the same exactly. I was seeing a couple of little trees or distant faded land on the sea, in the green area. Yeah, I've got a little bit of faded land here. Um, isn't it amazing what we all what we all can see? But like I said, this was going to be a palm tree painting, just so I can learn my palm trees. 
So the only way I'm going to get, I can't really put much on here. I don't know what I'm going to do there yet, but it won't matter. I think if I get a lot of black down the bottom, I'll start doing some palm trees. I don't even know if the way I want to do the palm trees is going to work on here because it's so wet. So again, it's um, trial and error. And, but I think it'll be okay. Let's just put a lot of black down here. So I'm just putting some black in. You've got to make them noises. I'm more aware of the noises now. I might do them less because people have mentioned the noises, although they love them. I just feel a little bit more aware. Okay, you can just flick up down here and do some grasses and we can go in with this with the script knife. Uh, script knife? That's a new one. Script brush. Have them crossing over here and there. Some high ones there, look. Fill all that in. Fill all that in. Tap away, guys. Yes, please share, copy link. Thanks, Jerry. Much appreciated. Palm trees would be cool. Yeah, I did that in my last um, picture, scraped some paint off, but I think I'll be okay on this, hopefully. Um, cut the shape out of masking tape and then use it as a stencil. That's a, that's a possibility. Let's go with this, shall we? Let's just put a branch in. Okay, let's see if we can do some little palm trees. I'm at the wrong angle. I need a swig of my drink. Too much talking. See if this works. I can't see because of the light. I think I need more. I think we'll be okay. Let's just do one going off that way. Let's do one going off this way. one's a little yeah, it's pretty someone's come along and stole the coconuts already it's a very 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 little palm tree there yeah it seems going okay it picks up the colors underneath but in a kind of way it's almost like a highlight we can have one I'm going to have this one a bit higher so you can see it up here a little bit, I think. So, let's go. It's sort of bending about there. You can roughen this up a bit. You don't have to have it a straight line. Tap the edges. Roughen it up a bit. It don't have to be perfect. You don't know what's living on there. Pixie Rose, I'm loving this. Thank you so much. Beautiful, Carl. Thank you. So, yeah, we've got this, this bit here, so... Palm trees have all different kinds of leaves hanging over, different shapes. Oh, so I'm going off in the background. It's very easy to do this way, that way, coming out left to right. You've got to think about ones coming towards you, or maybe there's one there just, just hanging down. Or well, think about where they go. This one here is a little bit thick, so we just... That one's going off the back there. More paint. I'm at the wrong angle here, but right, you won't see a lot of this one because there's gonna be this one in front of it. Shh. I could have done with this painting really but like I said it's a practice for my palm trees so just neaten that up a little bit there you don't know until you try do you that's the thing that looks absolutely perfect says Rachel thank you so much do little circles at the bottom in black so the only person who buys it can see the coconuts <laughs> love it because texture yeah 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 well, I could do shall I try putting some little coconuts in one of the tree I don't know how exactly how they 
Where do they go on a tree? Is it in the middle somewhere around here? I could do some little circles or I could just leave it. Um. Want to make that one a little bit shh, so it comes towards you as well. Yeah, that's better. Um, it's great on tonight, Carl. No, it doesn't look like it. I don't know. I don't know. Just below the leaves. Oh, what down here? Down here somewhere. If I show you, look around here. Is that where it goes? Just type yes, Jamie, if you can. Twenty-four thousand likes. Thank you, everyone. We're still one subscriber away from my goal. We got four gifts out. That's really good. Thank you. Like on the trunk below the tree. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There. Okay. Yes. There. Okay. So we try it. I just got. I've got the fan brush out. I mean. I mean, I'm guessing this, guys. You can see. I suppose I could put like a little tiny highlight, the tiniest little highlight on, like a bit of a shine. That would help you see the coconuts a little bit better. My coconuts. Oh no, I better not sing the rest of that. Does anyone know? That, <laughs> that was a tune out by a uh, sort of Kim. Was it Kim Petris or something? I don't know. Yeah, my coconuts, but she wasn't talking about coconuts, if you know what I mean. Very rude. Don't sing that, okay. I don't know if that's good or not, to be honest. I don't know if that's good or not. I think it looks too bright now, so I can just dampen some of that shine off. Experiment. It don't look too bad here. It was too white probably glistening in your in your face on there use the back of the pencil or something with liquid black yeah that's an, oh yeah that was an interesting thought what did you have for dinner tonight Carl? I made myself salad I was saying earlier I had salad and quiche and I I done a whole bag of mashed potatoes put them in the freezer today done loads of video editing yesterday I cooked myself beef stew and the leftovers are in little pots in the freezer, ready for a quick meal. And it was absolutely banging, I must say. What did you have, Pixie Rose? We've got to start this conversation. I actually remembered, which is good. It is good, isn't it? I wonder if I can just put a couple of shine. I'm just experimenting here. Like a bit. Just a little bit of a shine on some of these leaves. It's a bit of an experiment. I don't like that bit already. Touch it. It looks very bright on the screen, I think, but I'm just having a little play about here. I think just, so it almost is catching some, catching a little bit of light here and there, you know? Not much, I don't think much. Just some little drags. Just a few places. Maybe, maybe over here a little bit, I don't know. And then just dampen it down, just a touch. Just a little bit of a sheen. What do you think to that? Not pizza tonight or Chinese? Nah, nah, nah. Who are you and where's Carl? <laughs> uh, I had sausage mash, mash and veg, nice one. Uh, buttons, I had cereal for dinner. Oh, I had, I had cereals at like one o'clock in the morning before bed last night. After the live stream, I fancied a bowl of cereals. Uh, Jerry, I had spaghetti, toma tomato, and basil sauce, nice one. Parmesan and salad, ah, oh, did you make it? Looks great, thank you. Okay, let's just put a, just, just a tad, just a tad of highlights on here. Just maybe on the top of these leaves, look. 
Isn't it interesting what you can do? I mean, this is the second time I've done palm trees. And um, I thought, well, maybe just a little bit of highlight would look all right. Maybe there's a, lot, a, a car parked here with headlights on. And there's a couple sat here with a flask of vodka <laughs> and some and some food. <laughs> Sometimes all you need is cereal, that's too right, yeah. Some nights I've even had a pot noodle. Yes, made it, thank you so much. Yes, made it, oh brilliant, Jerry. Brilliant. Are you a good cook? Who considers themselves a good cook? I actually went to um, college for about a year because I was a chef for a while, but um, I didn't. I I didn't like it. I I was more interested in the arty side, doing all the puddings. You know, making the tops of the puddings nice, and uh, that side I liked. I didn't like the heat of the kitchen. Oh, it was just so much I didn't like really. Okay, but well, as we're here, let's just put. Um, Let's just tap, 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 tap. We'll tap all the way down here. Tap, tap, tap. Uh, let's have a look at the comments. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love wheat bix fruit and nut. I like fruit and nut, and I like wheat bix. I haven't had wheat bix for ages. Uh, buttons, I can cook food when I feel like cooking. Yeah, same. I'm living on my own. I love I love home-cooked food, but I don't have time to do it. So, like, tonight, I just mashed up a whole bag of potatoes, mashed it all up, and then, you know, put it in portions in the freezer, and then I can get some salmon out. I've got some salmon already sort of in tin foil. I can get that out, whack it in the oven. Rip, like, quick, healthy meals. There's nothing wrong with mash in the freezer as well. It just comes out just the same. So. I'm just going to dampen them out a little bit. Don't too, too white. Okay. Okay, so. This land over here, I just left it as it was. I suppose we could put just a hint of shore shoreline on there maybe I don't know maybe you can just see a bit of water hitting down here you know could have done this first but it doesn't really matter and just make out a little sort of shore a shoreline tiny little shoreline you're not going to see much up here but I might just put a tiny, if I can get a hair there, just one hair. I don't want it too bright. Shh. Can't really see them mountains in the background, but if I can just damp out on that little bit. Dampen this little bit. Pixerade, on vegetarian so I create a lot of my own sauces, use a lot of herbs and spices, make it tasty, that sounds good already. Um, Jerry, yes I'd say so, having brought up two girls, married twice, I've cooked a lot. <laughs> I rarely cook probably just myself. That's the thing, if you're on your own, it's more difficult. Uh, buttons, have you ever thought of doing like a rainy city scapes car? Yeah, I would, I would like to learn how to paint rain. See, most of my stuff is like, obviously scenery. I love scenery, I love nature. Trees, water, you know, all that kind of thing. I don't know about a city, but I'm not saying no, definitely not. Um, but even like, because I, you know, some people have said about um, adding deers and stuff. I've done a wolf. This is all new to me. I've done a wolf, a couple of wolves. I've done a couple of birdies. I did do an acrylic um, snag. So I, wanted, I would like to learn some more then, but I might start with silhouettes. I'm overcooking as I'm on my own a lot of the moment. My partner's in the Air Force on deployment. Oh, really? So you're getting extra portions. 
Yeah, it's more than I can feel, I guess. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it, Pixie Rose? So I think cooking on your own. But do you eat more when your partner's away? <laughs> I think maybe just a couple of water lines here and there, and I think this one would be done. I could do some more, more, not a lot. I'm not gonna put a lot, a lot in here. I think this would just help. I wanna scrape it across. I think that I didn't care for this one very much. Just blend this out a little bit. You can, you can sort of, you know, put it on with a palette knife and do that. You know, it's quite nice. Just feather them out a little bit. Sometimes it, they can be a little bit bold. Just put a spot on there and pull it along. Keeping them sort of flat is, um, that's one trouble I, I have from where I'm sitting, keeping them water lines flat, that's one of my sort of troubles, but you can sort, you can sort stuff out most of the time. Mm -hmm. Omelets, oh yeah, omelets, oh yeah, I've got to have an omelet. Pixie Rose, oh yes. <laughs> uh, I eat more when he's home because he loves his food, love. <laughs> I eat more when my partner's here too. We'd love to see you do a moonlight picture. Oh, Rach, you missed it last night. I'll show you in a minute. I've done a couple. I've done a couple. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, yeah, I've done some wood, some woods last night. I'll show you in a minute, guys. I'll show you in a minute. If you didn't see last night's ones, I'll show you. So I'm just pulling some of these out now. So what do you think of my palm trees? Second time doing them. This is a different view as well, isn't it? I feel like we're up on a hill. I feel like we're up on a hill. We're looking down at them mountains or whatever. You can look at it two different ways, but I feel like we're up on a hill, slight hill. Men just wake up hungry and go to bed hungry. <laughs> a moony. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very nice palm trees. Thank you guys. Much appreciated that. I'm just gonna sign this one off and I'll show you the other pictures. And then I'm gonna go offline and scoff loads of chocolate. Because I feel like it. I am a bit of a chocolate. I'm gonna sign this one over this side, I think. I normally sign on the right, but it depends on what's in the picture, but there's no reason why I can't on this one. I need some thinners. Guys, I must thank you for um, you all being here. Tapping the screen tonight is amazing. We've got like 28,000, it's mad. I love chocolate, Cadbury's, yeah, I've, that's what I've got, I've got Cadbury's, a big bar of Cadbury's. Do you know what I bought it? Because it said someone special on the front. I thought, well, that's me, isn't it? So I got it. <laughs> that's the reason, the only reason I got it, I promise. I need some more thinners. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I just saw my name all over it. Uh, I think this is the second live in a row we are talking about chocolate. See, that, that's what I mean, Aisling. It's probably me that starts it as well. It's me that brings it up every time. It's looking at all this sort of brown and dark paint. I just, I just want to eat it. <sighs> Okay, I've got that, and it's really hard for me to see because I've got shine all in my eyes. <laughs> 